So um, the very first co uh, command line command, once you have installed the DX toolkit, is DX login. So this basically will ask you for your credentials um, on the RAT platform. So you will basically start out um, with DX login. It will ask you for your username and password. Um, and once you are once you are logged in, you will be able to have access to a particular project. So here, uh, basically, I'm doing DX login. And um, I here I'm just putting in my username and password uh, because I have uh, basically two factor authentication. Um, I have to put in a verification code. And this is the very first thing you're going to see after you kind of come in and you've logged in. So it will ask you uh, to select a particular project. Uh, when you're done, you can basically use DX logout. Um, uh, essentially, uh, this is you don't have to do this, but because the platform does log you out after a particular period of time. Um, if you want to make sure that you're logged into the right account, you can use D DX. Who am I? So let's uh, let's basic let's do a quick demo of that. Uh, so now here I'm going to use DX login to log into the platform. And I will put my username and password. So I need to put in my verification code. And um, you will, if you set up two factor authentication, you will have an authentication app that will give you a number. So 7281. And so now you can see that we, we have, um, it's asking me to select a project. So I have a lot of projects in my um, project list because you know I do a lot of teaching. Um, I'm going to switch over to a UKB wrap specific project. It's not on this first page. Um, so I will hit M for more options. So the project we're interested in is um, on line six here. So it's the JL training project. So I'm going to pick that. And you can see that I've now switched into that project. So just a quick note, you can do DX who am I? And it will identify you by your account name. Um, I'm not going to log out, but you can, um, when you're done, you can type in DX log out. So, uh, Another way to log in is to log in with a token. So if you, uh, th and this token is basically generated um, via, via, the, via the web UI. Um, so once you have generated this token, you can use DX login and using this dash dash token option, you will basically uh, paste the token that's generated by, um, by the UI. So how do you generate that token? So this is just this is just a quick screenshot of the web UI, and the first thing we're going to do is basically go to this drop down menu for your for your um, your your profile. If you go into uh, this drop down and you click on account security, um, one of the options there will be the ability to generate a token, and so you can generate a token. Um, and then you can select uh, the projects that are accessible by that token. Um, you put in an expiration date, and depending on whether you have um, two-factor authentication, you may have to authenticate here. When you click Generate Token, it's going to give you a short string, um, and that is what you're going to put in as input to the token here. Okay, so we looked a little bit at um, you know, the select project selection process. Um, I just wanna familiarize you with a little bit more details about that. Um, oh, and number one, um, so this is one of the most useful commands is dx help. And if you type in dx help all, 
it will give you basically a listing of all of the different um, commands that are available in DX Toolkit. Um, you can run help on particular commands um, by typing the name of the command. So if it was, if I wanted help for DX select, it would be DX select help. Um, I think it would be dash dash help. Um, so let's talk about DX select. So we already saw that when we logged in that we had to choose a project. So if you are in your, um, if you're on wrap and you need to switch projects, you can use DX select. And depending on your level of access uh, to a project, you can filter out um, the projects. Um, you probably won't need to use this um, if you don't have that many projects. You're also able to identify particular users um, to a project directly uh, on the command line by using DX, DX invite. Um, just note that the user has to be part of your application or this invite will not work. Um, you can also, if uh, say, you know, a particular user leaves your organization or group, you can use DX uninvite to remove them from a particular project. So I just want to show you a little bit about DX select now. So I'm going to clear my screen so we can start at the very top here. And now I'm going to type in DX select here. So again, you know, this is, it gives me a list of projects and I can um, cycle through all of my projects um, and select a new project if I, if I want to. So I'm going to just stay in that Jupyter Lab training project here. So again, if we want to only uh, show the, the projects for which uh, we have view access, um, so I'm just going to get a quick help here. Uh, so you can see if I just type in dash help, like I can get um, help on any um, particular command in DX toolkit. So I can use this dash dash level um, argument. And these are the different kind of values of the different user roles. So if I was just interested in projects for which I had viewer level, level access, I can do DX select. Um, dash dash level, and then view here. And so it will show me all of the projects for which I have view level access or higher. Um, if you don't want to switch projects, you can just hit Control C because I want to stay in that the same project. I'll hit Control C. Okay. 